I'm Nikola Rajovic. I uh, got a Master and Bachelor of Engineering from University of Belgrade, uh, Serbia. I'm, um, I'm working in uh, high performance computing, uh, more specifically working in high performance computing architecture as a part of a Mont Blanc project that my, my group is leading. Uh, my expertise is in the field of high performance computing system architectures. We are currently looking into the use of mobile technology as a, as a driving vehicle for future generation supercomputers. So uh, I am a PhD student at University, University Technical University of Catalonia and also a junior researcher at Barcelona Supercomputing Center. So uh, I'd be very honored to be a part of uh, this exciting, exciting project like Mont Blanc because we already got a recognition for our works and that will keep us pushing forward. We are making computers, but not the computers that people are using at home, but the ones which are being used for science, that scientists are using. So those are called supercomputers. They are more powerful, they are, have more capabilities than personal computers. So um, what I am actually doing is that I am uh, not building them as they are, but we are, we are working on research how they are how they may be built in the future, for example. I would like to, uh, to see that one day, like uh, at least five years from now, to see that there are actually supercomputers built out of the technology that we are now looking into. So built out of mobile phones, chip, chips, and that technology that we are envisioning will be one day. Well, I like to play basketball as far as I can remember because I cannot remember too much of when I had a three years. Well, I would say I like to play with ball, so I like basketball, maybe football, but I don't like football today, which is a, a bit pity because I'm in Barcelona. But uh, yeah, that would be it. I think I wanted to be a fireman. Bombero. Yeah, because uh, bomberos are like uh, were my role models when I was a kid because they were like uh, not afraid of anything they were helping saving people's lives risking their lives to save another and I liked it but it turned out differently <laughs> well uh, it's very hard to say because nowadays it's very it's very hard to uh, to make an idol but if I look into the past, I admire Nikola Tesla. He was not originally a researcher. He was a, more like an inventor of, of his time. But yes, I admire him, admire him for everything he did for, for the humankind. In my profession as a researcher, I think that the best is a freedom to create. That's definitely it. Scientific research, I think, gives a lot of freedom to create, as I already said, but it's just a matter of they have to choose what they like to do. So it's a, if they are looking for a challenge, then they should go to do a scientific career. That's it.